Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And last time I made my other video was in quarantine. I know I said I was going to make more. Things just get so crazy, especially with COVID. I'm sure everyone can understand. But I swear, I promise, like, I promise I will be more consistent. If you like this video, please like, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And let's get into the video. I have my notes here. I just want to make sure that I get everything that I want to talk to you guys about because this is a very important topic. Someone asked me this actually on Instagram and I typed a whole thing out to her and I thought it'd be a good idea to just make a whole video on it. As you can see in the title is how to start your fitness journey. Also, if you have struggles with low self-esteem, self-love issues, body image issues, or just a lack of motivation and you don't know where to start, maybe you've never worked out a day in your life, maybe you are very consistent with your workouts and you just hit like a bump in the road and you don't know what to do anymore. My first tip for everyone before the whole physical part of actually working out and focusing on diet you need to focus more on the mental part first i would ask myself why am i starting a fitness journey do you just feel unhealthy are people bullying you do you not like the way you feel or look in your own skin are you technically overweight with the bmi scale did the doctor tell you to lose weight or do you have a bad relationship with the scale all the stuff like that i would really consider into your fitness journey it really isn't all about the physical part and what you look like it's really about how you feel and your relationship with your own body i can speak for my own experience when i was struggling with eating anything i was very underweight and it was a very difficult time for me i thought that if i would just lose weight i would be happy and i was wrong whenever i hear someone say if I just lost a couple pounds, like, I would be happy with myself. Um, that's not true. You really will not be happy with yourself. I've been every single body type. I've been very thin. I've been very muscular. I've been curvy. I've been thicker. Um, I've been, like, a normal. I don't want to say normal. I don't like using that word, but just an average body type. And I was not happy with myself in any of those bodies because I never dug deep and focused on the mental part and how I felt in my own skin. I do strongly believe that it really matters how you feel on the inside before you even start this whole journey at all. So the second tip I have is start by walking. This goes for anyone who never worked out a day in their life or someone who has a whole routine. Sometimes the hardest part of working out is just starting. When you get dressed, that's also the hardest part. Driving to the gym, anything, stepping outside, tying your shoelaces is the hardest part. But if you just say to yourself, I'm just gonna go on a 10 or 15 minute walk, you might start out at that number and want to go more. You might be gone for 30 minutes to an hour. There is your motivation right there. Once you start, you will have more motivation to keep going. And then once you start doing this, and maybe you'll start wanting to run or lift heavy or do something else. And that's where your motivation comes from. So just start by doing something simple, whatever that is for you. And don't focus so much on, oh, I have to do this. I have to lose 10 pounds. I have to do all of this stuff. I need to look good for vacation. No, just calm down, take a deep breath and just start by doing something simple. Number three is eat a balanced diet. So usually when I tell people who have never worked out before or did anything with fitness before, I always suggest working with one or the other. Either start eating healthier or start working out. It is very overwhelming for someone who's never done this before to put two of those together and usually they will give up. If you are someone who is experienced with fitness, I would suggest doing both of these. Um, it's not a hard diet or anything. I don't believe in those. I've been there, done that, and none of them worked for me. So if they do work for you, that's great. But for me personally, I stick to a balanced diet, which means I eat healthy most of the time and I include treats here and there just to keep myself sane and so I don't binge because people that have been following me for a while know that I had um, binge eating disorder. So not restricting myself or focusing on fad diets really helps me 
be sane and I noticed that when I eat a more balanced diet my progress lasts longer. Um, it is slower to get there but it does last longer than these fad diets that will last like a month or so and you're gonna just go back and give up because it's way too much to handle on your body. Number four is go to the grocery store. I know a lot of you are probably like yeah obviously I go to the grocery store I have to go to the grocery store to get food but Go down aisles that you've never been down before. Get motivated by buying new healthy snacks that actually look appetizing to you. There are so many recipes on Pinterest that I find for like healthy desserts. Once you have like a fridge or a pantry full of healthy snacks, healthy alternatives that actually look good to you and you're actually excited to eat them, it doesn't feel like a diet, it doesn't feel like a chore to eat healthy foods, it won't feel like some sort of diet that you can't maintain like the whole goal of be, ha, living a healthy lifestyle is doing things that you enjoy eating foods that you genuinely enjoy to eat they don't have to, if you don't like a certain vegetable then don't eat that certain vegetable but anyways just try to eat what you genuinely enjoy and it won't feel like you can't maintain the specific goal that you have the last tip that I have for you is to branch out and try something new. So if the walking thing isn't working for you and it's boring to you, I understand walking's pretty boring to me as well, but it does feel good to get outside or just go on an easy walk on the treadmill sometimes. But if that's not cutting it for you and you, you don't like to, or you don't like running, or you don't like the cookie cutter exercises like crunches or lifting weights I don't know anything like that then don't do it you don't have to do what you don't like to do it's not going to last in the long term if you're doing things that you don't even like doing in the first place so why would you do them maybe you're bored with your routine right now and you want to try something new that you never tried before do it like go out no one's stopping you try something new and you will get your motivation back if you find like you are more motivated when you work out with friends go work out with your friends if you don't have any friends that like to work out join a group class make um, new friends ride classes pilates boxing yoga there's yoga classes and pilates classes on youtube that you can do there's tons of workouts you can do on youtube try just power lifting a new type of lifting if you do power lifting try another sort of lifting try crossfit anything that you enjoy or always wanted to try that's the easiest way for me to get my motivation back when i've hit like a plateau or a bump in the road when i don't want to do anything i try to mix it up as much as i can you don't there's no law that you have to stick to a specific plan i just hear all the time that you have to do this way you have to diet like this you can't eat carbs carbs are bad for you don't eat um, this fruit because there's too much sugar in it. Don't lift too heavy or you'll get bulky. Don't lift not heavy because then that's not doing anything for you. You need to run to lose weight. You need to do this, this, and this. And there's no law stating that. All you have to do if you want to lose weight is be in a caloric deficit. That's all you have to do to lose weight and do stuff that you enjoy. Um, be happy. Try to be happy with yourself meditate do as many things as you can to feel okay and happy in your skin and i hope all of these tips helped you in some way comment down below if one stuck out to you and helped you the most i'm really excited to start doing more youtube videos for you guys and i hope you enjoy thank you for watching bye